evening race fans. Good evening mining fans. Good evening Square Enix fans. Hello mining fans. 90 minutes at Monza in the wet. Off we go. Time for a hooli hoarder to turn up, and we can't really deal with it. Uh, Come here, hooli hoarder. Bastard. Don't get distracted. Get the loot. Gold is always worth it. Gold is always worth it. I think it was the, the raid that enabled us to complete that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I was just the most tired of it. Same. There's only, I think if you look at the achievement, there's only like 0.35% of gamers have ever done an elite deep dive. So you must have counted for like 0.01% there. That's a nice goal. It is literally a polished turd. They have got a turd. They put it in an oven so it's going to be nice and hard, and then they polished it. That is a polished, shiny turd coat. Pain medicine? It's for Yona. Her pain is... it's getting really bad. That poor girl. That poor girl. Well, I guess we could try a shaman fish. Oh, we could just put her out of her misery. What's that? It's a fish found near Seafront. Their livers contain a chemical that's said to dull even the strongest pain. Perfect. Bit of fish liver. See me die very quickly again. <laughs> Just how? Probably not as quickly as you did that last game, but. <laughs> Speed run. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, you've now picked another really good biome. The level five. <laughs> It's a frickin' podium in gold. You know, Rory, you're supposed to be the one that stays up all game. I know. Now that's you, Mark. Defender doesn't help when you just get 
literally killed by the game. <laughs> I'm so helpful. Oh, oh, no, I'm down. <laughs> Rolling boys, <laughs> Good afternoon, race fans. Welcome to Silverstone. We have a three hour driver swap race today and it is multi-class i am uh, joined by my teammate neil hi and uh, we're we're driving the uh, aston martin in gt3 class so uh qualifying's just started for the gt4s they've got i think it's 10, 15 minutes yeah 15 yeah, minutes 15. five minute layover and then we'll go at the end of at the end of qualifying so um, which car? Let's have a look at Warwick. In the Camaro. That Camaro is a right beast of a car. Just has so much, bo so much body roll in every corner. You can see it there. I was just struggling yeah, to get it, it into the corners. Like, <laughs> it just felt like it was taking all day just to get around there. Yeah. Hey, Leah. You all right? Good. How's it going at work? Fair few in. That took that took a few attempts. <laughs> yeah, I know like I don't drive GT4 that much, but when I do, what I really don't want is that Camaro. <laughs> I mean I remember you put me in one of the GT I think it was the Ginetta, wasn't it, that you put me in I think was, so. It was just a nightmare and yeah. I've, I've, I've avoided going near them ever since. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the Ginetta isn't the easiest car to drive out of them all. <laughs> some, some of them aren't too bad. They, they can be quite good fun, but it's just... Uh, in fact, there's a, a, I'd say there's some tracks that I actually prefer GT4 to GT3. Um, like, off the top of my head... Um... Laguna Seca, like I really don't like Laguna Seca in GT3, but I do quite enjoy it in GT4. So how hard is it then being the GT4 driver with the GT3 drivers flying past you every every turn? It's quite difficult, especially when um, the GT3 drivers don't give you room and just like crash into you and. Right, the last the last multi class race I did in GT four, um, I think it was actually at Laguna Seca, and uh, I've I lost count of how many times I got taken out by GT threes trying to trying to get by, just because they were they're just all so impatient, and instead of just like sticking behind around the corner and then they're obviously going to overtake you on the next straight, 
Yeah. They just dive bomb up the inside at the very last minute when you're not expecting it. Yeah, and then both of you end up colliding and improving yeah. both places. Well, I also got taken out on the start finish straight by another one of the GT3s as well. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> mm. I'd definitely much rather be in the GT3. <laughs> Yeah, so would I. That's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're doing best time at the minute for the GT4 is a two minute twelve point two. So they are about ten, twelve seconds a lap slower. Yeah. very similar in terms of break points and everything like that then? Uh, they actually are kind of, yeah. The the breaking points don't change too much because obviously their top speed's lower. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, they have a, they have less aero um, but generally the breaking points are around the same. Yeah, I'm just watching Warwick and it's like it's not, uh, it's not massively different. No, no, it's not like not like driving a road car or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you've got Ian, Ian there in the Maserati. Mm. So the, that Maserati's a difficult car to drive. <laughs> it sounds incredible though. We only got four GT4s on there then, yeah. Uh, there's five. There's another one down in down oh, in yeah, twelfth yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. The time, my timing screens are taking a bit of time to update at times. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't think the server's too great, to be perfectly honest. Or at least there's plenty of people from far away because it looks like there's lots of lag everywhere. Yeah. As long as it don't cut out here like it did in the practice. Well, I think that was the game crushing rather than anything. So hopefully we can, fingers crossed, avoid that in the race. Yeah, that Maserati looks like a handful for a completely different reason to the, the Camaro. <laughs> if I've got a route for anyone in the uh, in the uh, uh, GT4 that's going to be free, and he's my teammate in the uh, driver swap series. Yeah. He really will just drive anything as well. <laughs> yeah, when I've talked to him, he's just like, you know, just literally stick me in any car and I'll have a go with it. So. Yeah. Which is good in a way, because you, you kind of get used to driving anything, but also, I guess you just you don't ever get like really good with any any one car. Yeah, yeah. I I always find it's kind of good to stick to one or two cars and just try and learn them as much as possible, and then like switch to another car at some point. And you do kind of when you go back to the car, like I've just come, obviously just come back to the Aston Martin, and uh, from driving, even from driving the Audi, like there's a lot of things that I feel like I'm doing better in the Aston Martin, even though they're completely different cars, just because you get yeah. used to different handling and stuff. And that's it, and that's what I was saying about the oh Christ, there's a bit of a swapper. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I was saying about the GTR. It's just so different. It just doesn't feel like I ever feel that confident in it. And it's like you know, now with a bit of a change into the Aston Martin, it feels like complete a completely different car. That you you know, you can just have a different level of confidence with it. So yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying about you know driving everything. You're never really fully getting hold of a car and understanding it. And you yeah. Know, Unless you like Jardier and you can just get in anything well, and 
be an alien. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've got a new a new uh, provisional pole from Miniev in the in the Porsche. Into the two elevens. I I have no idea if that's if that's super quick or if that's just a normal pace for GT fours around here. To be honest. I'm actually going back to what we were talking about liveries earlier. I'm actually kind of tempted to at least look into how much it would cost to get like proper Photoshop. Yeah, I mean, I, I was actually thinking because um, I use uh, is a GIMP. Yeah. The image manipulation thing is that any good? Do you use that at all? I've used it in the past. Um, I I find this online. It's called uh, well. I, I use the online version for some reason. You can... I think you pay a subscription for the one that I'm using, that Pixlr. Right. Um, I think it's only... I think that's only about £10 a month as well. But then once you pay the subscription, there's like a desktop client you can download as well. Okay. Um, and it gives you a lot more features that you don't get in the free version. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Um, but if I was to do that, I'd probably do that... Because at the minute, I'm using... Uh, for a lot of the graphics and stuff, I'm using Canva, um, and I use that for work as well. So I've got the I pay for the pro version of that, okay. um, and I use it for the pub as well, like graphics and stuff that I've been doing for the yeah, pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's that's again about ten pound a month. So I think if I was going to do the pro version of Pixlr, I'd basically do that instead of instead of having the pro version of Canva. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I suppose it comes down to how much you use of it, doesn't it? If it's yeah. uh, if you use it for a lot, then maybe one of the Photoshop package uh, Photoshop packages is worthwhile. But yeah, yeah, if you're not using it for a huge amount, yeah. Well, like if Photoshop, because again, it's been it's been a long time since I've used. I used to have uh, um, what is it now? It used to be one. I think it was called Coral Coral Suite or oh, something yeah, like that. Coral Suite, yeah. Yeah. Like we're talking like yeah, early early two thousands. I probably had that, like a hooky copy of it of the whole suite, um, and that was that was pretty good. I, I don't know how Photoshop compares with like that. I assume they've got. It's not just like Photoshop and that's it. I assume there's a whole package that like you have one that's more for like um, like compiling graphics. One that's for more doing like your design work and stuff and. Yeah, but I think I, there's several different suites, isn't there, in the, in the Photoshop package, and you can buy, I think there's different packages, of, you know, depending on sort of workflows, so depending yeah. on what you're doing, so, uh, but I'm not going to pretend to know too much. Yeah, I, 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 I need to look that. into it, so that that's where, I, like, if, say, because I assume, like everyone these days, Adobe probably does a, because it is Adobe that owns Photoshop, right? It, yeah, yeah. I assume they probably do a monthly subscription, um, yeah. and if if that's only like thirty quid or so, maybe I get rid of Canva and have that instead, and and use that for everything. But I just need to look into it. I can't imagine it'd be too much more for that, and for that you're probably getting the full package. Yeah, the whole, the whole element suite. I need to look into it because, like I say, I'm paying ten pound a month for Canva at the minute, so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, if you're already spending that, like you say, if you get a package that's already going to do that and more. I'm assuming it's relatively simple to pick up then and, and understand what you're doing with it. Or is it just you, you <laughs> make it, making do and try, you know, trying to make it, force it to do something? Yeah, I think I've, I've used it quite a lot and there's still... Canva is dead easy. Like Canva is very much like, I guess it's kind of a bit like Publisher, uh, in like the Office Suite. Yeah. Um, but with a bit more like, there is a little bit of like image editing that you can do in there. Right. 
Um, but like it, it's they have a huge library of like different components and bits and pieces you can use and then you can bring in your own images as well so what I do a lot is I'll do like design work in Pixlr um, for like a, a bit of a graphic that I want and then I'll import it into Canva to like compile it into the the final artwork yeah okay yeah um, but like that's what I say if like Photoshop has a whole package then I don't know why I'd, yeah. I'd mess around having different things all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. So, as long as the price is alright. Yeah, I was about to say, I suppose the only thing with Photoshop is you are paying for having Photoshop, so it's, you know, it's that, it's that balance, isn't it? it? It's probably, probably is the best, but it's, you're going to pay for it. Yeah. Very much, very much like my, you know, my AutoCAD that I need for my work. It's like, you know, yeah, it's great to have AutoCAD, and AutoCAD probably is the best for doing my job. It's just that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're gonna pay for it those for it. I mean you could always try using draft site. <laughs> <laughs> I could try. <laughs> Everyone I've spoke to that uses draft site just absolutely hates it. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, yeah. I, I, I think I, I don't know, I mean it's, it seemed it appears like it was based on a very early version version of AutoCAD anyway, it's just they it's yeah. sort of, added a little bit extra to it but yeah i used the free one very briefly and it was like no i need to get my own yeah. So, yeah well i think even uh like because they do like a pro version for if you're using it for like a work purpose or whatever even the, the pro version that you pay for it just things aren't where you expect them to be and it doesn't work the way you expect it to yeah <laughs> it doesn't have all the features <laughs> The trouble is, is that, you know, in my, like, in my instance, I've been using it AutoCAD for like 20 odd years. You become yeah. used, to, used to where everything is. You've used it for that long. You know where everything is. So yeah, exactly. when you go on to a new piece of software, it's like, where is everything? <laughs> you know, so. Uh, right, let me go and get Quali set up ready to go. Uh, track's a little bit warmer. Or a little bit colder, sorry, than the. Yeah, we're I knew what I meant. In my head, I'm like putting <laughs> pressures up. I'm putting <laughs> pressures up, so I'm thinking, yeah, it's warmer, but it's actually, yeah, I know what I know what I mean. It's 21 air, 21 track. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just modifying the CDA quality setup, to be honest. Mm. <laughs> so I think I think they do theirs at about 26 degrees, something like that. You remember to change the um, uh, the brake ducts. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how, I don't know why all the Coach Dave setups have the brake ducts like massively high. So, like, every car, every car you get in, the brake ducts are far too high. All right, okay. And I, I really don't know why. It's like, so it's, an, it's an odd thing. I'm assuming then the only issue with, the, obviously, you want to shut it down, that it creates more temperature, so you're having much lower pressures in your tyres. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then also your brakes are cold going into like a lot of the braking zones, which yeah, yeah. the only thing I can think is that they do all of their work in like hot lap mode. Ah, oh, wait, right, which always has your yeah temperature. It starts everything at optimal yeah. temperature, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got another another minute to wait. Good luck, lad. Cheers. Should I do the old Formula One thing and queue up at the end of the pit lane? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be out first. I go out with like 20 seconds to go. I mean, if you're going full Formula One, you'll be out there. You want to be out there early and then get to the last corner and basically stop. So there's a yeah. big old long line, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, someone's already had that idea. Damn it! <laughs> Beat into the punch. It's just like Formula One. They were all using the same software. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>
don't know why that guy pretty much stopped on the straight there. So we're up behind Suxalang. <laughs> I mean, I give him the benefit of the doubt. Like he does have a really high ping, so it is it is possible that's an actual his actual name, and he's in Asia somewhere. <laughs> Eye pressures are still a little bit low, to be honest. No such luck. It's just slowing down both of us, you know. 
Yeah, it was way too late. <laughs> so I'll get a get a gap for the next lap. And then he's just lost a second instantly in turn one. Oh, let's just ruin that. <laughs> Invalidated it. Because he squeezed me. <laughs> Alright, let's go again. Where's there a gap? Go down, we'll slot in behind Craig somewhere. Ah, invalidated. You want to drop behind Cray? Cray's got a yeah. twenty-five second gap behind him. So.
Should have enough time for two more laps, I think. See if we can actually get a representative lap in. <laughs> Hell of a lot better. Yeah, P3. Uh, that's end of qualifying. <laughs> <laughs> Managed to get a representative lap in <laughs> finally. Yeah, yeah, After yeah. getting like every time I was on a good one, that guy in front was just like super slow in the wrong place. <laughs> out of the way. I mean, if you know you're holding someone up, come on. Like, I even tried dropping back and creating a gap, and every time I did, it <laughs> just something up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's get the race up loaded in. Make sure we got everything right. Should be fine. Then we'll just look at the temperature when it when it goes to the. Let's see what Craig's doing. Is he on a good one? Is he going to beat me? <laughs>
No. You're not a million miles behind that Voynich, to be honest, mate. No. I say I was... Um, I don't think... I, I probably... Back, no, I probably had another three, four tenths at least. Yeah. Um, well, I'm just going to jump for the race. Um, do you want to jump into Team team 2 chat um, in the yep. race team? Just because if, if, um, if one of us disconnects, it's easier to get back in rather than trying to start a call while you're racing. Yeah. That's all. Uh, session has ended. How many big, big brain cars are there? There's four. In there. So there's... yeah, there's me and you. There's Craig. Um, there's Hank, uh, Warwick, Ian. Warwick and Ian, and Steve as oh, well. Oh yeah, sorry, five. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Steve. There, yeah, yeah, so yeah, six. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, top six. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it's pushing them GT4 cars. I know, right? <laughs> I, I myself for that So, what we got? 21, 22. So, we're at 23. So, put them up a couple. Couple there. Couple there. Couple there. Corey doesn't like giving us much time at the start of the session to sort shit out. I was about to say, it was just seemed very short, but yeah. I do keep telling him this. It's something we need to change. Oh, so, you can set all of this then? All of the session start times and everything like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. All right. Hopefully, because the temperature's a bit lower, these tyres will hold up a bit better than what they did in practice. Yeah, slightly shorter stints as well. We were doing full tanks, weren't we? So. Yeah, that's true. But I'm gonna guess we're still gonna cover that front left. So. Probably. <laughs> This guy ahead of me doesn't want to get on with it. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, that Maserati looks like a bit of a handful here. Oh yeah, it sounds amazing. I was on board with you for a bit of qualifying. I sent, I sent Craig our livery as well, so he was just going to be seeing uh, seeing our car ahead of him the whole race. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I'd prefer it if you were further ahead so that you couldn't see me when I get in the car. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be much better. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know. It'll be all right. It'll be all good. He'll probably crash at some point. <laughs> nah. <I'm... laughs> uh, best of luck, dude. Cheers. You too. Great, all that work I did getting my tire pressures all right, they're now just dropped way down. <laughs> This car really doesn't start well, it just bogs down. Hopefully it's only a short run for turn one. If this guy in the Leeds race pace is as good as his poly pace was, he might just check out at the front. <laughs>
Seems like he's taking it easy a bit. He just has to wind up quality pace. Definitely doesn't seem comfortable at the minute. My force feedback just cut out for a second there. It's back again now, like. That's the slap of the race, dude. Cheers. He's weaving a bit on the straight. <laughs> He's worried. <laughs> Just touched the grass a little bit there. Craig's overtaken the uh, guy behind us.
front left tire is getting a bit, little bit yellow through some of these right-handers, but it's kind of going back to green still, so it's uh, overheating and then dropping back down, so it's not too bad at the minute. Use all the track. <laughs> Weaving. <laughs> Panicking. I think you're quicker at the sort of second half of the lap. Yeah. I'm getting a much better exit out of here. Yeah. 
takes a wider line but doesn't really fly away. No, that's what I'm thinking. Like, so I thought about taking that wider line, but it's not really gaining anything on me from doing it, is he? <laughs> I'm getting a lot through the maggots and buckets as well, I think. Seems to get a better exit onto yeah, this straight here. Yeah. Is this hanger straight? No, it's not, is yeah, it? Hanging. Is it hanging yeah. here? Weaving. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not the racetrack out there. See, this is the thing, I'm not really great at qualifying around here. Well, I'm thinking, I mean, he did that 50, uh, 58, didn't he? I'm thinking uh, in practice, and I think that was his quality. He must have been on a quality setup, and he's actually a similar pace to you. Whereas my uh, my quality was, what, a 159.1, and I've done a 159.4 in the race already, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Am I allowed to win my own race? <laughs> Should have probably checked that before. I never thought it would be. Uh... <laughs> Coming up to the GT fours. Steve. Craig's right. lost a bunch of time somewhere as well. He's, he's been losing about the same to you, pretty much lap on lap. He's just falling back, you know, probably half a second or so per lap. Maybe a bit more, actually. Yeah, I thought it was at like, I've lost a second on this lap getting through the GT4s there. And he's lost another two seconds to me this lap. Looks like, anyway. Which way are you going, Ian? 
We went to stay on the racing line. <laughs> I can't argue because if I was if that was me in the GT4, I'd be absolutely flapping. I'd be like, oh. That closing speed was a lot more than <laughs> what I was expecting. <laughs> I'm refusing to say it today. I think I know what you're saying, but I'm... I'm yeah, refusing. No. I'm not getting angry with GT Force today. <laughs> Yeah, that's what he should have done. <laughs> uh, right. yeah. it, again, though, it just depends on where you catch them at what part of the corner, doesn't it? It's... Exactly. Car on the left. Clear on the left. See, I knew Warwick was going to be compliant there, so I, I could go up the inside there. Yeah. <laughs> The people that I don't know what they're going to do, that you just have to be a bit more cautious of. Yeah, you go for it. Thing is, everyone's got to get through the duty fours, so. You win some, you lose some. You might lose a couple of seconds on one lap getting through them, but later on in the race, someone else is probably going to lose the same amount of time, so. Yeah, completely. That turn one's a bastard for track limits, so like if you run wide just like do a bit of a lift and then yeah, it'll not get you a warning. Yeah, he's off the throttle and make sure no time gain, yeah. Right, I just gotta pop away, lad, I'll back in a minute. Yeah, no worries.
I did get a track warning just after you left. <laughs> oh, no I didn't even think I was wide enough, but should have just had a little bit of a lift. Do they reset at the uh, change of a driver then, or do you carry them over? No, you carry them over. It's all right. We're allowed. We're allowed one warning every hour. <laughs> I've got the one for the first hour. <laughs> Front left tire is starting to feel a little bit old. Right. But we are probably in half hour. Yeah. Right? Uh, it's no no worse than where where it should be. Yeah, here's where I got the track warning. I'm guessing that's the worst spot for it. Yeah, that and turn one of the two pretty hard ones to I don't know about that gravy.
Yeah, all the high speed right handers want to take a little bit steadier now because of the tyre wear. Well, that's good. I said fuel consumption was about 3.23, and that's exactly where it is. <laughs> oh, right. Pretty ideal place. Yeah, big corner.
can't hear me. Uh, 11 minutes left in the stint timer. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. You're starting to worry, get a bit worried about it. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I mean, I was thinking, you know, before it was like, yeah, let's have a nice, relaxing drive. We might have that idea. <laughs> Never did I consider you were giving me the car in first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. It's just it's still just a nice relaxing drive. Yeah. I mean I'm starting to build a bit of a gap to Craig for you, yes, so <laughs> more, more. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the GT4 cars are all, all quite lonely. They're all quite spread out. So you're only having to sort of pass one at a time kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. I saw what happened there, he understood. He was trying to leave me outside and he just understood. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late in the stint, isn't it, to be sort of thinking. Yeah. You know, trying to stick it to the inside. And hold it. <laughs>
actually got plenty of fuel to be honest. Still got five laps left. <laughs> Alright, okay. So I don't know what happened to my calculation. Because I'm right on where I thought I would be usage wise. Can't be, yeah, it can't so, be a lap time, it's to be five laps out, can it? No. Nah. Thought I'd do, I'll do one more after this one and then I'll pit. No problem. And then it gives us a bit of a buffer. I've still got the fastest lap of the session. Yeah, I did see it as well, yeah. Decent time, 59.4 to be honest. Is the track temperature still the same as what it was? Twenty two air twenty-five track. Okay. Tires actually feel alright. The, the the pressures look fine to be honest, I'm not gonna adjust them. Okay. Unless you want them adjusted. Uh if they're working well for you, mate. Box, 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 pit confirm. Oh no, the pits is closed, sorry. <laughs> I've been bursting for a piss for like half of that stint, so. Once I hand over and you're comfortable, I'm going to disappear for a couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah, really, that's why I needed to go for a while. I know I'm going to absolutely die if I get in the car, so I'm like, better go now. <laughs> right, I'll um, 30 seconds. I'll start the car for you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Nice, good pit stop.
just um, take it take it easy the first couple of laps. Just kind of feel your way into it, get used to the car and everything, um, and like most importantly, just have fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fun. Yeah. <laughs> I know you know what to do anyway. You know you you're a good enough driver. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't stop my arms and legs shaking. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. You're all good. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, don't forget traction control and brake balance. I forgot to change oh, them. Yeah. yeah. Just want to remind it. So far, the gap back to Craig's been pretty stable, so you're doing a good job. Yeah, setup doesn't feel too bad, to be honest. So. Steve's a good lad getting out of the way, isn't he? I was about to say, I was, <laughs> there, was, I was, there was a moment there where I was like, please, Steve, please move. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the follow, uh, TW. How are you doing today? You enjoying the racing? Yep, so Craig was only three tenths quicker than you that last lap. Okay. And that obviously includes you getting past the back marker as well, past the GT4, so you've got a good pace. It's all good. Good blood to hear it, man. Yeah, I'm doing good. Um, we've had a we had a really good first stint. Uh, qualified third. I don't know how long you've been watching for. Qualified third. Um, got up to second by the end of lap one, and then we were closing. We were right behind the leader for a number of laps, and then uh, they dropped it into Maggots and Beckett's. I think it was. So that kind of gave us the lead. Um, now, um, 
my uh, teammate Neil's just taken over the car, so he's going to do the next 45-50 uh, minute stint. Um, so we're just kind of holding on to the lead at the minute, so it's all good. Okay, cool. So do you, uh, do you do some racing as well, or you just enjoy watching it? I'm going to disappear for, for a minute now, yeah. <laughs> now that you've settled. All right, back in a minute. I'm back. I uh, played Forza Spears and PC2. Controller driver. Yeah, it, this this is a tough tough game on controller. I know a few people. Uh, Neil is driving now. He um, he started out on controller and he he's just got a wheel in the last sort of uh, uh, couple of months. Um, really tough game. They they kind of designed it for. Uh, like using a steering wheel and then they just added the controller support is how it kind of feels yeah. thanks Ian yeah but yeah that's the best way find out find out what cars you like um, and then it's probably best to like or what, what I find at least it's best to then uh stick with that car for a while kind of get used to how it how it handles how it feels and everything rather than like like in Forza you chop and change cars all the time and it doesn't matter too much because they all feel somewhat similar 
in this all the cars have quite different handling characteristics. Obviously some are similar, but for the most part they all they all feel different at least anyway. So Craig, Craig is catching you a, a few tenths a lap, um, but then the guy in third you're pulling away from. Nice. So as and when Craig gets on the back, it's up to you whether you want to fight it or whether you want to just let him let him go. Obviously, it's a long race. Um, like if you yeah. if you can if you can fight him and not really lose any time, then go for it. But if you think it's going to cost you time, it might be better off. If he makes a bit of a move, just let him let him have it. Yeah. Like, don't make it easy by any means, but you know what I mean. <laughs> There's no yeah, point no, no point say, fighting yeah. it super hard at, at this stage in the race. Assuming he does catches. Yeah, McLaren's probably. Not a bad car to drive on a controller because um, it doesn't need it doesn't really need any um, like trail braking or anything. Um, it, in fact, it prefers it if you don't. It prefers it if you're hard on the brakes and then you lift off and then you're on the accelerator. Um, it, it doesn't really like you to trail the brake into the corners. Second.
on the racing line. I could just see a bit, yeah, you know, it was just patterning completely the wrong place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we do have a history. I took him out of Monza, so... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't... I forgot to Hopefully unmute my mic. remembers that as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hopefully he treats you like the hind legs of a donkey. <laughs> exactly. Stay well away. But yeah, like I was saying, the, the NSX is, uh, is, a, is a good car at the minute. It's really good in the straight line, and it's pretty good through the corners as well. Um, I don't I don't know what it'll be like with the controller, but I'm sure I'm sure it's drivable. Um, I think from from what people have told me, driving with the controller on this game, for the most part, it's okay. It's just when you'd like the car does something that you're not expecting that it's hard to kind of get control back. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, brake all the brakes squeal in this game. I think. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure where, if he's going to make a move, I'm not sure where it's going to be, because so far, anywhere where it's like a real overtaking opportunity, you're actually pulling a bit more of a gap to him. Okay. So unless he, like, tidies it up a little bit, I don't, I don't see it being that easy for him to make a move. It's a shame he's not in one of the chats. I would have jumped in and just given him some shit. <laughs> yeah, you've got really good pace, to be honest.
opportunity. Like he's, he's quicker through that last sector there, but there's not really an overtaking opportunity down into turn one here. Yeah. Unless you Lewis Hamilton on Max Verstappen. And then I'd, I'd encourage that overtake every time. <laughs> it's quicker into there. Yeah. That complex, because I, I just have to tap the brakes. I can't, you know, flat it. Yeah. See, but he's still not close enough to make a move up into Stowe. Oh, wide, wide, wide. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I think it should always be encouraged if Max Verstappen's in a corner to take a dive bomb up the inside. Uh, very hard and sensitive with the analog stick. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of what other people have told me to be honest as well. He's going to be getting frustrated behind you. <laughs> That's the hope. Yeah, I, I strongly suspect that they'll just give him a fine, which it's kind of crazy when you're like, it's like the whole thing in... Uh... <laughs> I put a timer on it. It's like the whole thing with the, uh, like, uh, financial fair play in football like teams break it and they just go oh yeah you broke it here's a fine <laughs> you know I, it just doesn't seem to make sense to me like you spent too much money so now they're going to make you spend more money um, for me like the punishment I don't think they can really do anything about last season because it's too far too far past like they're not going to change a championship 10 months later otherwise it sets a horrible precedent Um And, uh, like, I, I think realistically it's got to be either something this season or next season. So maybe they give them a reduced budget next year or, um, like, give them, like, less wind tunnel time or something like that could be a good, good way to do it. I'll do press-ups at the end. Remind me at the end of the race. I'm not doing a mid-race. Are we doing on P3? Um, it's it's always it's been between 28 and 30 seconds. So sometimes they gain a little bit. Sometimes you gain a little bit. But it's always it's been around that 28 to 30 second mark. No problem. Who are you, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Do it now. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Yeah, I thought I'd just put it. I think it just re. I thought I'd just put a timer on it. I don't. It's not meant to be one per stream. I'll have to have a look.
I believe you. I said I'll have a look after the stream. Let's get pushing. I told you I'd do them at the end. They are once for stream, so it doesn't matter whether... push-ups on Craig's car, yeah. I, uh, I guarantee Craig doesn't like this livery that I've made either, so it's, it'll probably, that'll probably wind him up even more being stuck behind. I have no idea what he does with those liveries, right? I need to just get him to send... Yeah, I sent him it. I sent him it for this exact reason. Because I thought we'd be close to him on track. So I sent him it so he could see it while we were racing. But yeah, I think I might just have to get him to send me what he's got in there for the Honda because... I don't know what he's done to it. Yeah, I, I, he he seem he doesn't really. I need to get him to share his screen and show me what he's what he's got in there. No, I I can see it online though, so I don't know what. I don't know. Maybe you've got the wrong library. I don't know. Was Damien signed up for this race? send him a message afterwards just see what's see what's what maybe he's got a genuine excuse Trying flashing you now. I was about to say, <laughs> flash me all you like. He ain't getting past me. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna let you pass anyway. No. First thing, like I say, you're not you're not losing any time. So. Oh, fuck! Damn it! Unlucky. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully not. Just uh, stick with him as much as you can now. Um. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna do, mate. Yeah.
Ian held Craig up nicely for us there. <laughs> Weaving. <laughs> Yeah, gap, gap to third is still at 20, 28 to 30 seconds. Okay. The tyres are feeling a little bit used now, to be honest. So. Yeah, how long's left in the stint? Uh, 17 minutes. Okay. So, yeah, that's probably. That's not too bad then. Ah, uh, warning two for track limits. Okay. That's all right. That's our second second, second hour's warning. Two hour, yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, Leah? Nap time? Don't you mean uh, watching the stream time? <laughs> Nicely done. I had to get out of the throttle because I was just under steering yeah. wide. I was like, oh, this is going to get. Tragic. Yeah. Uh, this is quite an interesting race because uh, I'm slightly quicker than Craig. You're slightly slower than Craig. It's it's an interesting dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> well, like you say, hopefully he starts getting tired in the uh, later stages. So. Yeah. What's more important, nap time or stream time? In terms of tap, uh, pressures, everything's perfect apart from the front right, which is up about 0.4. Okay. Track temperatures, or air temperatures, still 23 degrees, so I think leave everything where it is is fine for me. No problems. Um, Actually, it's started coming down. It must have been. Yeah. A... I think I think you you've, you've been sliding the car a little bit more than I do as well. So that's probably not helping the tire pressures that little little bit. I'd like you to map so you don't get mardy. What are you mapping?
Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Your typing today has been abysmal, not going to lie. Since Craig got past, he's not really been pulling away, has he? Not massively. No, I've been, I've been sort of keeping an eye on his time. He's only really lost time when I've, yeah, you know, been a bit slow getting past someone. So. Yeah. I think he's uh, with his, with his impatience behind you. He's kind of Just... taken a bit more out of his tyres, maybe. Yeah. So he's doing low two o ones. Obviously, you had the back marker on that one, so. This is true. Love you. Craig just got held up by that GT4 going around that last section, so... Okay. Still anyone's race. I'm just, yeah, trying to keep him somewhere where you, you're not a million miles away from him. So. Uh, just do, do your own thing, don't worry about what I've got to do. Yeah. <laughs> don't, no. don't take any <laughs> unnecessary risks or anything. Just, oh, just no, do no, what's. No, yeah, no, yeah. No, sorry, no, yeah. No, I'm not. Okay, anything. okay. Like I say, you've got you've got good pace. Yeah, I, I was I was keeping nine third to be honest, and that's the uh, yeah. They're right, still they're catching. Then I start to fall behind other people and. Yeah, they're, they're still 30, 30 seconds behind you, so... Yeah. I said, there's the odd lap they gain on you, and then the, you gain back on them. It's It's been a... It's not, I've not seen it anywhere other than between 28 and 30 the whole stint, to be honest. Right. How, how long's left in the stint timer? Uh, ten, li ten minutes left on the stint. Okay, and how many laps of fuel do you have? Uh, I have nine laps of fuel. Okay. So I what I typically what I'd say around here once the. Um, 
Once you see the the stint timer get to around four minutes, um, do one more one more lap and then pit. Right. It leaves you. It gives us a bit of a buffer, and it's not too close to the timer where if you make a bit of a mistake, that you're gonna get penalised for it. The, the car behind you now is the guy that was leading the race earlier on. Um, yeah, I spotted he's quicker as well. Yeah, it? so if, if he gets close behind you, just let him go. There's no point yeah. no point wait, yeah. wasting time fighting. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Ian. <laughs> oh, was that Ian? Oh, fuck yeah. me. <laughs> I'm racing with it all Thursday. The last time I did it, now inside of it. So that guy behind you must have had another incident somewhere then to be a to be a lap down. You fucking hate you. Lucky. I was watching where he was going in my mirrors and just completely missed my break. Uh, uh, right, don't six, worry. six. Six minutes left on the stem. Okay. So it's probably two more laps.
Jesus, someone just got disqualified for speeding in the pits. Right, four minutes left. What do you want me to do? Pit this lap or round uh, one? Yeah, do one, do one more. Might as well. Check. I've set you as the next driver. Pit length is 30. Change tyres. Yeah, nothing else to do. Yeah. Um. Oh, they've left. I think. Never mind then. Craig, Craig fitted that lap. Okay. Box, box, pick, confirm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the guy that was in third place just got a stop go 30 as well, so no, no pressure behind us. Nice, didn't that? Really good. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be getting into the 20s, I have to admit. I thought we were the 21s, so yeah, I'm going to jump that. Oh, the uh, two minutes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, two, yeah, no, yeah, I know yeah, what, yeah, two what you minutes, mean. Well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I knew what you meant. I'm frazzled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you should be able to start the engine at about four seconds. No problem. We gained a little bit of time on Craig through the pits. I've got to say we're in first, aren't we? Nah, second. It takes oh, a little bit to update. Yeah, it's hard, but yeah. it takes a yeah, yeah. yeah, so it was about 8 seconds a gap, it's now 5.8, so nice, nice pit stop. Yeah, it went nicely, didn't <laughs> it? Yeah. Now I'm going to hunt me a Honda. <laughs> yeah, make him squirm like he was making me. 
Come on, Tony, let's get up to pressure already. Ah, yeah, he's a lap ahead. Yeah, he lapped stopped the lap before, did he? Yeah. So you're about laughing about the same. Uh, Craig's laughing around two minutes. Two minutes one, just shy. Just right. on Craig took me out in my league race the other week. <laughs> <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I, was that the one at Nurburgring? Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I remember.
Yeah, I gained a second on him there. I don't know if you can tell, but I am pushing hard. This has worked out great for us here. Yeah. That's what I mean, it can happen both ways though. So like, there's really no point getting frustrated about it, because you, you gain some, you lose some. Yeah. It's just avoid the big accident, isn't it? Exactly. Am I too far back to start flashing him yet? <laughs> <laughs> Overtaking is going to be hard though, because that, that Honda's got such good straight line speed.
pushing him hard. <laughs> he's, he's responding really well. He's really putting his foot down. I can see you're like really putting a lot of effort in. So. Uh, I am. I've still got. I'm still not. I'm not right on the edge. I'm close. Like, I don't think, for an endurance race, you never really want to be right on the edge. Oh yeah, you were spinning it. Gaining quite a lot on him through the first part of the village, and then he gains on me coming out of the second part. Yeah. Has he taken too much out of his tyres too early? Yeah, it's possible, it's possible. His it's, it's, lap times don't change too much though, to be honest. A little bit ambitious, that. <laughs> it just sort of ran out, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that was a see. warning. Jesus, I was still on the curb. Yeah.
going to um, work out how much fuel we'll need to be all last in. We might as well put less fuel in. Yeah, sure. What? Um, we, it's going to be 35 minutes and we're doing uh, 3.21 at the minute, but do it as 3.24, I guess. That's the worst it's been. Um, and lap times uh, about two minutes. It's going to be between 30 and 35, so do it, do it as 35. 35 minutes, yeah. And 2 minutes. 3.24. Uh, yeah. So, safe, full formation lap 66. Okay. Keep that somewhere where you can get to it and I'll I'll do it towards the end of the stint. I think we're going to have some excess fuel still anyway. These tyres are starting to green up a little bit. Okay. So I haven't got the pace that Craig's got at the minute. But it'll come back to me. If that guy went wide. <laughs> Thank you. 
I mean, it is, yeah, but I know I'll be quicker at the end of the stint. GT Force helps it out. Slipstream me. Yeah. <laughs> Do we take a lunge? <laughs> no, I'm too far back. <laughs> No balls because I didn't take the lunge from four tenths back. <laughs> That's probably where the move is on against him, though. We seem to be a bit closer. much better exit here. Well, I did before I got into a slide. <laughs> Broke too soon.
Put a bit of brake test in there. He might be on free track, track limits for him. Weaving. Front left's now at 28, oh, it's just dropped again. Was it 28.1? to cool my tires down a little bit. <laughs>
the track temperature gone up or am I just pushing harder? Or air temperature, sorry. Uh, air temperature 23, track 29. Okay, so they're still about the way they were. My front left is at 28.4 at the minute. <laughs> Right there, I just can't get out of the corner. Yeah, yeah, you can. I've noticed it a couple of times into the first corner as well, just yeah. washing that a little bit. Ten minutes left. Yeah. It's still three point two four on your fuel. Still up at three point two five right now, but it's been as low as three point two one. Tires. <laughs>
as Martin Brundle would say, I think I've had all my sweets from these tyres. <laughs> <laughs> It's just watching out everywhere now. <laughs> yeah. Right, I've got. I've, well, I'll tell you when I cross the line how much fuel I've got in the tank still. We've got th 36 litres, and I'm going to do two more laps. She was 26 from about here, um, so I'm going to use up another six and a half, aren't you? So put in about 22, right? You want to put, put in 22, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right, am I? Didn't you say you wanted 66 to the end though? Yeah, 66. Yeah, so I want 44. Right, yeah. Okay. Good job, you're there. Yeah. Forty-four liters. What you got left in the tank? Thirty-two point eight. You don't have anything doing to the tyres, or I don't know how, how well it's hard to tell with yours, isn't it? If the temperatures haven't changed, then no, nothing's okay. going to be. Yeah, I've, I've just been pushing a lot harder this stint, that's why they're. Yeah, that's fucked up, That just did not want to turn there. <laughs> I am absolutely dead on. <laughs> Pretty much.
Nice but stint, dude. Shameless tell you what, nice I haven't done. I need to put you in as driver. That would help. Yeah, there that we go. would start. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, man. Yeah, perfect, perfect, yeah, perfect. Ah, uh, a little bit overshot. 30 seconds. Fifteen, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Nice. Bring it home. Got a nice gap behind you, 46 seconds to the next car behind you, 47 seconds. Yeah, I don't think I'll be catching Craig, so just keep an eye on that for me. Yeah, no, yeah, that's well, fine. I say, I think, that especially it's late on now, I think Craig's going to be struggling for concentration at times, so. Who knows what can happen. So yeah, just take it, take it somewhat steady. Obviously we're on our last track warning, thanks to yeah. me, so. I say there's a big enough gap behind that if you do if you do run wide just have a complete lift off yeah, the throttle. Out. Yeah, Works out.
Ooh. That was Craig. What was that? That was Craig stopped on the side of the track there. Yeah. It's going again now. I wonder what happened. Just fancies the thrill of the chase. <laughs> Maybe. Unless he had a problem with his with his wheel or something. I'll keep an eye on his lap times and what he's doing. Let me have a look at the replay, I'll see what happened. I really don't know what happened there. Did he turn his engine off? I think he turned his engine off. easy thing to do by accident, is it? Unless you've got it on. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what, because he's got the, I think he's got the Logitech wheel. So I don't, I don't know if, what button he has it on, or if he was trying to do something else and he's caught that button. Whatever happened, we're back in the lead. Well done. Uh, gap, to, gap to Craig is 3.2, gap to third place is 54 seconds. Thank you. Nice of him, he's in a fight with this guy in front of you. <laughs> Um, about a lap or two ago, um, I think Craig might have accidentally turned his engine off <laughs> going down the back, going down the hangar straight. Um, 
Yeah. Not something I've seen before. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. He was just stationary on the street when we got when we went past him. So I looked at the replay and it looked like he he had turned the ignition off. We've got good pace. Just trying to keep it around that two minute mark. If I can keep it there, that's pretty much what I can do. Mm -hmm. so. I think if you keep it at that pace, it's going to make it, even if Craig does get right behind you, it's going to make it hard for him to overtake like, like it did before. That car behind me a lapped GT3. Yeah. Nice work. Craig's finally got through them back markers. He's the car behind you now, 2.7 seconds.
And Steve just helped Craig up as well. <laughs> we, we've done pretty well out of the GT forecast today, I think. <laughs> I guess. So far. So far, I'll caveat that. So far. <laughs> Have you done much practice for Kota on Monday yet? Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest, I was putting I put a bit of time into this. Yeah. Because uh, I was I went to uh, I've done a couple of hours from Kota. Okay. And that was literally like trying to realise how to keep it on track because I've never <laughs> raced it before. So. It's a tough track. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nightmare. And it's one of them where, like, most most tracks, if I've not driven there for a while, within five or six laps, I'm not far off the pace that I was on before. That one's very hard to, like, if you haven't raced there for a while, to get back on and be, like, right on the pace straight away. Yeah. Uh, it was just the track limits. Yeah. Like, you know, it didn't feel like you could push anywhere and obviously I'm in the GTR which you know like I said feels like it wants to kill you every time. That's the Japanese for you though. Well I've got one of the Japanese tracing me now so I'd rather you know it'd be nice <laughs> if they were trying to kill him so. <laughs> Hondas are always just as likely to break down though, aren't they? So as we, as we saw earlier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
still got really good pace. Craig's only gaining a couple of tenths on your lap at the minute, if that.
looks to be pushing hard behind you. I think you'll have three more laps to go. Three more laps. Oh, well held. Right, you, sh you shouldn't have any more back markers now between now and the finish. Okay. Unless someone makes a mistake somewhere. A bit nasty. You got a bit sideways out of there, so you've got a bit of a buffer. Last lap of the race.
Okay, nice job. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> okay, now. That's awesome. Nice race. <laughs> nice, race. Nice, nice race, dude. Nice race. Oh, that's awesome. So there you go. That's what you got to do. Like, to win a race, you've got to create your own race team, your own community, and then you can win a race. <laughs> <laughs> simple as that. Yeah, simple. I've still got fastest lap of the race as well, which is great. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I see you. still got it, yeah. No, that's nice awesome. Race, I don't know what happened to Craig there, but you got to just be in the right place at the right time sometimes. Yeah, yeah, Holy yeah. fucking shit, balls! <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, that's one of the best races I've ever been involved in. <laughs> that was awesome, ever. right? That was awesome. <laughs> wow, I'm dripping with sweat! <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you, like? I, I, I don't know. My, my engine turned off. I oh, okay. I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know even know why. I think it's just because my adrenaline was rushing. I probably just pressed the wrong button uh, somewhere. That's why I thought. I looked at the replay and I thought that's why I thought that, you, that, that the engine had turned off or you turned it off by accident or something. But yeah, yeah, yeah. A fucking great race that though. Yeah. Wow, three hours to finish two minutes <laughs> apart. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I thought I was going to have you as well. I was hoping for another lap. <laughs> oh, honestly, honestly, Craig, man, I was like, I was like, just, just, just crawl around the corner, just get around the corner. It was just like, I just, yeah, yeah. Break points was like, just stop, stop. <laughs> I was so nervous, man, at the end with that kerfuffle with the other GT4s right at the end. I was so nervous. I backed off. I was just so scared of taking us both out. Yeah, well, that one on the second to last lap where I dived into the, uh, I dived into the chicane, just hoping he wouldn't turn in, and it was like, oh Christ, this, is, you know, he started to turn in, and I was like, this is going to end badly, but <laughs> yeah, fortunately, he just got it stopped. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough. I know. That time I almost hit you as well. Fuck, that was close. Oh, oh yeah, going, uh, going into the, um, oh, yeah, yeah, the, the back of the course, yeah, village. Man, I smoked four spliffs during that race <laughs> <laughs> to keep me calm. Four. <laughs> Still shaking like a leaf. Wow, great man, great race. Man. Oh, that was awesome. That was yeah, awesome. Great race, man. I was saying, I was saying to Neil like halfway through. It's a really great. It's a really good like experiment to do because I was I, I was probably slightly quicker than you most of the race, and Neil was slightly slower. So it was like a really good, <laughs> really good fight between us the whole way. Who passed his time? Pardon? What was your fastest time? Was your uh, fastest time? Forty-nine for. 49.4? Yep. What? Yep. Huh? I did it on like lap two of the race. Yeah. A, a 49? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. That was the yeah. lap of the race. Yeah. Or 59? No, 49. Uh, 59. Uh, 59 yeah, sorry. Yeah. 59. 59.4. Yeah. 59, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. But yeah. 59.4. Yeah. Yeah. You were three times faster than me then. Yeah. But that second stint, man. Like. 
I was having to play strategy because I was watching. I was like, well, I know. Um, I was kind of hoping that it was going to be you were going to be a little bit slower. Which in the second stint you weren't, Jeebus, but Neil. Um, but uh, that second stint from you, Matt, you were catching me up. And then what happened with you? Did you start losing tire oh, wear? My it? tires were just dead. Yeah, oh, I thought so. Like I was just washing out on every corner, so I was having to take every corner. I, I got up, I got up to like I think I was I think the closest I got was about three tenths behind you. And then from that point, I was just, my tyres just died. Because I, I was pushing very hard at the start of that stint. In that in the first stint, I well, I d destroyed my tyres. By the end, I was really, yeah. really strong. So I turned, I cranked up my bit ABS and I cranked up my um, traction control. And by the end, I was able to, I was losing maybe, maybe doing, well, oh, actually, no, it's wrong. I, I did my fastest lap in my second stint. And then I did my fastest lap in my third stint as well. So, I... Um, I, I, crank, I, I cranked up the traction control and I didn't lose too much time. In fact, I did my fastest time, like I said. So, mm. yeah, I, it, it worked out all right because at the end I was able to pull away from you and I was like, wow, oh, actually, it's only having a little bit of weight. Yeah, well, I was hoping because obviously the first stint, I noticed your tyres because you dropped quite, at the end of the first stint, you dropped back quite a bit. So I, I was like hoping that you're going to do the same in the second stint, that you're going to struggle on tyres again. But obviously I struggled. I think it's following. I think following around here as well really wrecks your tyres. It's hard to, like, as you probably saw at the end with me and, and Neil, like, it's really hard to follow because if you make a little yeah. mistake, your tyre is scrub and you've lost tyre. You, you, yeah. You've lost some um, what, 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 Let's invite right, uh, K-Man and Steve into the room. Yeah, get everyone in. That was a great race, though. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That third stint, the one, you know, you chasing Craig, that that was a great watch. Yeah. I have to have it. <laughs> been watching that because obviously I can see you, you know, you, you, Matt, pushing like fuck. And I can see Craig wobbling in the future because he's pushing like fuck to try and stay away. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah it was a great watch. Yeah, absolutely fucking amazing. <laughs> I hope I wasn't too aggressive. Where's Corey? I no, 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 you were good. No, were no, good. no, at all, no, no, no. And I did a, a couple of cheeky overtakes on the GT4s that were a bit like, oh, man, I, think, I, wanted, I just didn't want to lose pace. I didn't want to lose well, anything on you guys. It was like I, like I was saying to Neil, the, the key thing really is to just be assertive. Like, if you're going to go for it, go for it. Like, don't like hover around thinking about it. Just like, go for it. That's the one thing about me is if I commit to it, which 99.9% .9 of the time I will, um, I'll fucking commit. <laughs> But yeah, I'll back out when like like at the end there. That was I. It was it, I. My adrenaline was rushing so much that I couldn't go for something that I would typically go for because I was just shaking. You can probably still hear it in my voice a little bit. To be fair, yeah, it was a great race. <laughs> you know, from start to finish, we, were, we, we it was just constant. All the well, way even through. those. I... Yeah, go on. Sorry. Well, sorry, mate. No, go. You go. No, I was just going to say, I was like, my adrenaline was like absolutely off the charts. I'm, I'm exactly the same as Craig. I'm shaking like fuck, you know, so. <laughs> well, like, even yeah, like I the race, know. even like the first few laps though, like, because obviously we started three and four, didn't we, on the grid? Yeah. And uh, the first, like that first lap I got past that, um, what was it now? The Lamborghini. And then I was, I was, I could see the guy in, in the lead was really starting to struggle he was like really worrying it was weaving down all the straights because i was catching him so quickly <laughs> and then he ended up he ended up just dropping it <laughs> does anybody know what happened oh did he uh, yeah because he dropped it didn't he but he yeah. fell quite far behind didn't he yeah he must have had another incident somewhere hmm. yeah yeah once once me and you got into our rhythm it was I, uh, it, it was uh, it's, it's just the experience of the amount of endurance races that me and you have done i think like you just yeah. get once you just you get in the zone you just go man that i i must say i that was three hours completely in the zone like yeah like barely any, any jades of concentration man <laughs> like that was an, fed an addiction that race man yeah that race really fed an addiction <laughs> like i feel alive <laughs> not that i feel dead most of the time but it goes to show <laughs> man i've got another fucking race at two, one o'clock in the morning so right oh yeah you're um, doing the late night one aren't you yeah um, i'm uh, i'm racing with steve yeah Wait. we got the we got we got the aston dialed in what for tonight at, at zanvor yeah yep oh you're joined in as well so yeah yeah. Oh, yeah that's cool all right lovely i'm really en i'm really enjoying this aston martin uh, one o'clock, uh, one a.m. our time. I think the race right, starts about two. Yeah. You look good. 
in that car in the Aston man it was really hard to keep up with you in that first in yeah you you I watched you and you were freaking flying dude yeah, once, I got the tra- once I got my tires sorted out and, and everything yeah it was uh we just were talking to Matt there or me for whatever reason I just could not freaking get my braking right like oh, really? I had to that that's why I pitted so many times because I was freaking adjusting my brake pedals yeah oh shit yeah, it was, it was freaking pissing me off. <laughs> what was the matter with them then? It, they're not, they weren't responding. Like if I would just like tap on the brake, it wouldn't even register that I'm hitting the brake. Really? Yeah, that's, that's really weird. Yeah, so I had, I just made adjustments to the Fanatec software and now I need to make adjustments in the game because my brakes are still wonky. Is it a load cell or is it uh, potentiometers? Uh, I think it's load cell. Okay. It's the uh, the Fanatec. Uh... You got the V3s, right? Yeah, the V3. Yeah, yeah, they're load cell. Okay. That's a weird issue then. Yeah, I've not. It's not something I've come across to be honest. What do you think of the uh, the livery, Craig? <laughs> you know the moment i saw it i was like that was my original darn idea i know it's something i've been planning to do for ages but i've only yeah. just got it's not finished obviously i just got it ready enough for this race because we didn't have anything else with the aston you can see me swerving at the start of the race having a look at it yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've got off with lambo getting involved i was like piss off i'm trying to look at the car <laughs> Oh, right. Oh, say, great win. Really great win. Fucking unbelievable. That was just win. a great race all around. It was just really good fun. <laughs> it's really what we needed, wasn't it, Matt, after, especially after the last few races? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to well, invert my steering. <laughs> invert your steering. Left, yeah. to, left, to, left to go right, right to go left. <laughs> that would be a real challenge. That would be an interesting experiment. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, I did a, I did a lap. Uh, wait, I can't, it doesn't really matter. I did a lap round a track in helicopter mode. Uh, okay. How was that? Uh, Alton Park. Alton Park. Uh, how, how did that work out? <laughs> Fucking hard. <laughs> you <try> it. <laughs> <It's good> fun. <laughs> the steering changes over when the car comes towards the helicopter. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. <laughs> it's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really want to like really fuck your brain up. That's a great way of doing it. <laughs> so I'll be. I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to make a drink. I've got All right, I'm going to probably go get some food and chill out for a bit anyway. After that, so I'll be uh, back later on. I'll take my dog out for a walk as well then. So who? So you're back as well later then? Uh, who is it? This later? Sorry. Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah. driving with Steve. Steve. Yep. Right. Yeah, lovely. Oh. It's a, a sensible time for Steve though. It's like eight eight p.m. for you, right? Uh, yes. Instead of 1am. 1, 1 <laughs> yeah. That's dedication. Right, okay. I'll see you in another one. Alright, catch you all later. Okay, right. Let's see. Nice, nice race, Neil. No, well done. Yeah, alright. Good race, man. Cheers. Good job, see you catch later. you later. Good job. Good job. Stop me. Stopping me from getting past you, you little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you next time. Right, I'm going to end the stream there as well um i'll be back later on uh 1 a.m 1 30 i'll probably start streaming because it's like an hour practice session uh we've got a race that's unvoked so i'm racing with steve later so if you're about feel free to drop in um if you want to if you want to join our discord community uh links are below uh, or you can type exclamation discord into the chat and it'll give you a link um but yeah i uh Really good race today, really enjoyed that. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and I will catch you next time.